God says that we've been made into it for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Don't come to me and ask me to sing a chorus to your blues. Because right. huh? I'm going to sing victory in Jesus, right. my Savior forever. Yeah. Uh, he sought me and he brought me. Well, uh-oh, since he sought me and he brought me, that means he owns me and it's his responsibility to take care of me. Right. i got to shake myself up out of that foolishness. Right. All right. Okay. Why? Why, Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way and my lot are hidden from the Lord, and my right is passed over? Ain't nobody doing me right. No, God is always going to do you right. Yeah, yeah you know, it works out for them, but it'll work out for what? It's going to work out for you. Huh? And my right is passed over without any regard for my God. God, don't God see? Yeah, God sees. Oh, but you see the depths that we can go to when we, when, when we rely on our human thinking and our human emotion? Okay, then God, look at God's response. God's response in verse 28. Have you not known? Have you not heard the everlasting God? The Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. God is bolstering the faith. Wait a minute. Why, do, why are you talking like that? Don't you know who you're dealing with? You're dealing with God. Where you at? You've been living under a rock somewhere? Huh? Don't you know how good God is? Don't you know the history of God that he's always on time? Don't you know the history and the attributes of God that he's even, wait a minute, even his name is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and are safe. Don't you know that he is the everlasting God? Have you not known? Have you not heard the everlasting God? That means he outlasts every. God will outlast every situation. Don't you know? This is the God that we're dealing with. This is the God that we're blessing. He says the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. This is the same God that created the ends of the earth and everything that's in between. Don't you know that he does not faint or grow weary? And there is no searching of his understanding. Don't you know that God is always up all the time? So take your burdens to the Lord, leave them there, get in that bed, and get a good night sleep because God's going to be up all night anyway. That's who you're dealing with. That's who you're dealing with. Oh, oh, then he says that he gives power. Uh, look at God. He gives power to the faith. That's a reason to praise him. That's a reason to bless him. Because when I, when I get faint, God gives power. Hallelujah. He gives power to the faint and the weary. Sometimes I get weary. Anybody else in here get weary sometimes? Let's just, can we be real today? Huh? I'm not always on the mountain every single day of my life. I got days, not only days, I got times within the day, multiple times within the, okay, I'm going to just be real, multiple times within one day, I'm not always on the mountain. Sometimes I get weary in my mind. Sometimes if your mind is weary, then your body gets weary. Sometimes he says he gives power to the faint and weary and to him who has no might, he increased his strength. I'm so glad that I don't have to rely on my own strength. My strength ain't nothing. I can work out from now until Jesus comes, but I won't have the strength that I need to do what God wants me to do. I'm so glad that God gives power to the faint and the weary, and to him that has no might, he increases strength, causing it to multiply and making it about. I'm so glad that that's the God that we're serving. I'm so glad that that's the God that we ought to be blessing. That's enough reason to bless God right there. He continues in verse number 30 and says, even the youth, young people, even the youth shall faint and be weary. Yeah, you can outrun me today, but you can't outrun God. Hallelujah. Yeah, you got it going on today. Yeah, but God has always, God is always going to have it going on. When your going on is gone, God will still be going on. Hallelujah. Even 
the youth shall faint and be weary, and the selected young men shall feebly stumble and fall exhausted. Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. But those, oh, I want to be in that, those group. <laughs> who wait for the Lord. What do you mean wait for the Lord? Who expect and look for and hope in Him. Lord, I'm wait on you. I, I, Lord, I'm going to sit here and wait on you. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to wait with the right attitude. I'm going to wait with the praise on my lips. I'm going to wait with thanksgiving in my heart. Because I'm waiting but I'm not murmuring. I'm not complaining. I'm not singing the blues. I'm waiting expectantly on God for those who wait, expect, look for. What you're looking for? I'm looking for God. I don't want no counterfeit. I'm not looking for a man, a woman, a boy or girl unless God sends them my way. Most importantly, I'm waiting. I'm expecting. And I'm looking for God himself to show up the way that he wants to show up. And my hope is in God and God alone. Because sometimes we can let one another down. Sometimes with our best intentions, we fall short of the mark. But if I look for God, if I expect God, if I hope in him, just what the word says, they that do this shall change and renew their strength. Hallelujah. I'm waiting on God. I'm expecting God. I'm hoping in him and in him alone. And we shall renew and change our strength and power. They shall lift their wings. What do you mean lift your wings? These are your wings. Lift it. Lift their wings and mount up close to God. I love is amplified. Oh, no wonder we ought to be praisers of God. When you lift up your hands in praise, you're getting closer to God. Hallelujah. Don't you come in here no more and talk about praising God and you ain't lifting up your wings. How, how in the world is an eagle going to fly if he don't spread his wings? way above a storm. The eagle can stretch his wings out and even get close to the sun. So we, every time, oh Lord, have mercy, when we get up before we get into the new place, we need to stretch our wings in here. Glory, hallelujah. God, you need to, it took me, oh wait a minute, I've been trying out these wings. I've been trying out these wings. These wings, I want to You're getting closer to God. Hallelujah. No wonder. Wait a minute. It's starting to make sense. Because did not he say that he dwells in the midst of praises? So if every one of us would spread our wings and get close to God, God will come down and get close to us. Then when God comes in our midst the way he wants to come, watch what happens.
wait a minute. You're evil. You ain't got no business walking on the ground like a penguin. You're an evil. Spread them wings. Spread them wings. Open up your mouth and get close to God. And 
Black Formation. Hallelujah. Oh, and not the missing man formation. Oh, we have to do So we are all in wing formation. Oh, we pray. Lift me up. Our praises are unto our great God. Who knows what God will do?